It's time for Q&A in the Kitchen. It's a podcast and YouTube series where um, tattoo artists, three of them, and a piercer, myself, uh, talk about some of the more common questions and concerns that your average person that collects tattoos and piercings may have. We have names, you know. I'm getting to that. Brought you to seem you to breeze right <laughs> by it. Who you is? Brought to you in part by Skin Kitchen Tattoo, the Axiom Body Piercing Studio, and Death Before Decaf. Today, uh, as always, we have Jack Lowe from Skin Kitchen Tattoo. Hello, all. Uh, Wesley Dickerson from hey, Skin Kitchen Tattoo. How are you? And Jimmy St. John's. Good Skin evening. Kitchen. And myself, <laughs> I'm Davo. I own and operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio. What we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about um, kind of. Um, what? How you should act? Um, Ooh, tattoo shop when etiquette. You, when you, yeah, etiquette. When you come in to get a tattoo or get a piercing, and kind of maybe a little bit about what you should expect from your artist. Also, this art is etiquette. Um, who wants to start this one off? Uh, Wesley? Definitely yeah. not me. Oh come on. Well, let's, <laughs> let's start with Saint John then. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. Some of the th- like. If you're intent on watching us set up, I try not to set like open my needles and stuff until people are back there. I like to do the setup pre setup before they come in. I like to have my uh, cloth down. Um, I like to have my ointment out, my ink caps out, uh, rinse cup if I'm going to do color. Um, I like to have my machine wrapped and then set up and ready to go. And what needles I'm going to use, you know, the pods out but not open. Um, if you're interested in watching that kind of stuff, don't. Don't be back there on your phone or kind of dicking around and la la la. And (laughs) and then when I set up, go, oh, I wanted to watch you open those. Well, then you should have paid attention. You did have an issue about it. Something exactly like that happened, right? Like, yes, I did. The whole process. Yep. And it turned into the point where she just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I had a young lady, it was on her phone, and she wasn't paying attention to a thing in the world. And I'm opening all my stuff and I'm setting up all my machines and all all my things. And. She looks up from her phone as I'm done setting up. You know, we've long since stenciled her and whatnot. And uh, she goes, oh, well, I wanted to watch you set up to make sure it's all sterile. And I'm like, well, you're the first client of the day. You see those opening packages from the needles right there in the trash can? They're from these that I just set here and opened in front of you, but you were watching on your phone and Instagram and stuff. Oh, well, can you do it again? I was like. <laughs> <You're gonna pay. laughs> can I? Um, technically, gonna, yeah. But it technically, costs, yeah. yeah. But you're Are not going to be technically ready to pay me for the extra set. Exactly. Yeah. And it, yeah. you know, and it got into. And know, I think that's a common thing. They tell people that you know, one of the things you want to look for is they should open everything from a sterile package um, when they're you know whether or not they're safe or not. And yeah, I, I, you guys mostly set up and then so call them and uh, yeah, with the well, kind of with the whole disease and everything in the air right now uh with the um covid and everything like that if we're allowed to talk about it um that the virus we, we talked about the, yeah the virus we've been talking we've talked about a little bit is that yeah previously in the past there's always been that stigma of tattoo artists and tattoo right. shops not being as clean and as it's become more legal in the previous decades mm-hmm. and we've been well into this era that tattoos are very legal and we're very well regulated that we got to a point where we're over judgmental of ourselves. We are overly clean, washing our hands. That's why yeah. part of the reason mm-hmm. we stayed up the longest because we know yeah. t- on a daily, if not hourly minute, or hourly basis, we're washing our hands and taking care of things. Yeah. Right. So, like, we're overly protective about a lot of different things like that. And mm-hmm. um, well, just, so, I I think to kind of sum up and like dumb down maybe what you're saying is that. Uh, we are uh, over cautious because we know we're overly criti- criticized. Mm-hmm. So we kind of go over and beyond and be almost a little bit, not to say silly, but almost you could look at it and go, well, that's a little over the top. It's yep. not like you're slinging guts everywhere. Well, a yeah. lot of ours is. But. 
personal safety. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I was going to say. And that's what I was right. going to get yes, what I was driving at. Is yes, that, I, I do this for you, but I also do this because I yeah, don't me, want yeah. anything. Yep, I like yep, being yeah. healthy. And if yep, I contaminate yep. my clothing or myself or anything, and I go home to my wife or my husband yep. or my girlfriend or my dog, yeah, it's got like, no you know, it affects everybody We're in the We're more afraid for our own safety than right. even for your safety. Not that yeah. we aren't for Not yours, Not that we aren't for yours, yeah. That's why I've never... It's a pretty easy balance there for both of us that we want to make sure everybody's safe. Exactly. Exactly. Everything. It's like it's a rare thing. I didn't hear about this story with this young lady with you, Dang. but it's a rare thing for even people to ask about that because it's almost common knowledge that everything's single use. Almost Nowadays everything is. is disposable. This happened, like I said, six, seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was a common thing to have a mom or right. their parents or even the, per- the client themselves saying, right. Is this sterile? They want to see, it. and you show them, yep, this is my packaging. It's dated. Yep. This is when I autoclaved it. And, right. Everything's and, got labels on it. And artists used to do right. stupid things like bend the bar and play with the needle after it's been injected into somebody and throw it in the biohazard and all that other nonsense. Way, maybe way and, back. And that but... stuff, we don't remake needles. Yep. No, yeah. No. Well, and I was just thinking, you know, now the setup is so streamlined and simple. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the machine so I'm using is just looks like, you know, just like a big pen, really. Yep. And it's just a little nugget. And there's, then, you know, I mean, whether you're using the battery pack or okay. one yeah, tool just that's used between it. every tattoo, right. that's the machine itself, and but then, everything else is thrown away. And the, yep. the, the the needle are just, you know, come in a small package now, and mm-hmm. I open them as needed. So What's when I'm ready to go, you now? come in and see my my tray covered in plastic, my machine all wrapped up with, if I'm using yep. a, yeah. a you know, a plug-in machine, I'll have that wrapped. Cord, if not, yep. the, the battery's wrapped. And then I'll probably have my ointment out and maybe my ink caps. Right. And then uh, typically I'll pour while you're sitting there. And then when yeah. I'm ready to go, right then is when I'll pop, yeah. them up, mm-hmm. pop the, right. you know, the needle the cartridge. the cartridge out of the mm-hmm. thing. Well, so. the cartridge replaces the tube and the yep. needle now. Right. now so it's, that's one thing now. So, so it, it almost it makes, makes it a lot it, more streamlined. And, yeah, just so easy you know, to show you that. Yeah, yeah that's bang, more disposable. Right there. The only thing that's touching you uh, is I just popped it out of this. Yeah, yeah. not that sterilizing. There's anything wrong with it. We used to, you know, but there's no more right. scrubbing tubes and sterilizing yeah. tubes. And it's so streamlined. Blood, yeah, it's your way story better. here is that their safety is Piercing as it. important as right. my safety. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Absolutely. So, well, if I'm gonna have somebody do something on me. I want you to be as scared of getting something as, as you are, as, as I, I am, am. Yeah. from getting something. So if you're scared of you, yep. there's a chance of you getting whatever I can get because we're both in this together. That makes me more comfortable yep. that you know what the you're doing. I ain't well, taking you know what I mean. Like I trust you because and we have to. Yeah, exactly. Anybody didn't take shortcuts on me. I ain't gonna take any of those shortcuts either. Yeah. So. Right. Like I don't want to get tattooed in a basement or a kitchen. Mm-hmm. When I can go, you know what I'm saying? Like yep. realistically, like unless it's the skin kitchen. Well, the skin kitchen, but you know what I mean. Like I'm talking about somebody's. In house retrospect, that might kitchen. not have been the best word to use in a tattoo. Name. <laughs> well, you know, it's 20 years later, so but, bite me. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It's still a great idea. <laughs> but anyway. um. And then, uh, you but know, you know what I mean? Like I'm. We got. We got our. Supplies. We've got our license on our walls. We comply to all, you know, codes. We take our classes. We take sure. our certifications. We stay up on all that good stuff. You're all and high school graduates. Yeah, we've all graduated yeah. high school. We're all above 18. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Darn you. Yeah, they got it. So, so yeah. anyway, you know, I, and coming in as a, as a customer, like, I would look for things like that. I would look for, you know, and if you if you don't see it, ask about it. You know, and if they get upset about it, then gonna, there's a reason. And I was going to say, we, I re, we really don't have to, I don't really remember the last time I've had to deal with a situation like that because I think people that come here seek us out. They're they already just know. just walking in off the street yeah. and making sure. They know They've heard from, you know, their family member or one of their best friends Yeah, or this is a much that, different hey, studio. you should go there. So there's already this built-in trust. So that Absolutely. puts a little bit more on us because, yeah. you know, we – we know that they hold us to that standard exactly. so, and don't well, have to built that reputation. It. So on, on, in return, we are extra careful to make sure that you don't have to. Yeah. Well, you, that's the reputation that you, right. you guys have built, the both of you, yeah. you know, being here and in this business. So and being we're, this name, yeah. So we're not saying brand. like, don't keep an eye out or don't yeah. question right. or don't ask questions, but you know, really, at least for me, uh, I don't, I don't get hassled that much because and, I right. think we have well, that Well, for those right. for those out in the audience that are, you know, uh, they go to street shops and, you know, aren't available to come to us. Right. Because we don't know who's out watching us. But, like, you know, 
um, if you're in your area, check out some things like that. Make sure that yeah. some, these are Visit. some of the things you look for. Visit some things like that. Mm -hmm. And be knowledgeable when you go in take so you don't get taken advantage of. Because there's everybody around the corner will take your money to do whatever you want, have, whatever. You know I mean? And that's not always the best thing. Right. I don't yeah, know poke about, around a little bit. Ask yeah, some questions. Ask some, and, educate yourself a little bit. I don't that's know about all. you guys, but before I got into the industry, it was part of our, you know, we went to a new town. We went to Chicago. We went to Minneapolis. Yeah, we you went, checked out the Half the fun the was going shops. to check out the tattoo Absolutely. shop right. after you checked out the record store. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the best you know, thing ever. It, yeah. <clears throat> and if you got a good vibe, man, maybe you left with something. Yeah, yeah you might exactly. get something. Exactly. It's about timing and, and feel. I, and that was the best. That was the funnest part of it. Right. I think the lesson here is is if you do want to see him set up, is ask him. Just go, hey, do you mind yeah, if I absolutely. watch you set up? You know, and just be, be proactive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's and, what it comes down to. And if the if the tone is right and everything else, it, there won't be no a problem, problem with, with that. it, <clears throat> you know, at all. Uh, Actually, I think a lot of artists are kind of uh, proud of the way that they take precautions in setup. There and is an else. art, man. I look at some guys' setups and I'm like, what are? Yeah. Wow. Like it's like watching. Uh, what is the folding the paper? The origami. That's <laughs> origami. the one. It's like watching origami art. These the way some guys would wrap their cords yeah. with their machines, and then the the grip and, and yeah, I'm, I'm whoa. Because yeah, I remember so, yeah. when the, the grip yeah. was always bare. Nobody put anything yeah. over it. Well, because that. yeah, we would cords sanitize. Were wide yeah, open. we sanitize and wipe them and stuff. You can't wipe these. We'd bag the machine a lot of times. Right. Yeah. Um, but, because well, I you know, remember those before that. Yeah, you I did. Using oh, me too, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, you started using dental bibs and tape, and I know you like the move mobile tray. I do. I like the trays because if you spill narrow. anything, it, it contains it, it a little better. Yeah. That well, is one thing of, I, I get like. Rid of like I'd like cups. to put a tray on ours. I don't use rinse cups anymore. I use rinse yeah, caps. Yeah, rinse caps. I'll have a couple but of But you know what's more important to me than Pretty seeing cool. the setup is I like for them to hang around until I'm done to watch me clean up afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I want them to see me use gloves and take everything apart. I mm. want them to see that everything I specifically touch is it's something that I've unwrapped completely, and it's what I'm touching with what's my clean hand, right. and I'm taking off the rest of the dirty what's left. I'm cleaning it up. I'm matisiding a, a cloth or a, a paper towel. I'm wiping every surface down that mm -hmm. they contacted, I contact with. And the machine and the grip and everything that and gets involved. not only that, but you're I want them to see throwing that. everything in the sharp yeah, container. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I want them to see that, you know, everything's thrown away. Everything's disposed of. Everything's wiped down. This happened before you came in and sat down. Right. And it's going to happen now. And, now, and it's going to happen again and again. <clears throat> like I said, I, well, that's I don't important. get a hassle with that that much. Not me I think neither. Because we're you not know, here. We, in, a reputable, in a reputable studio, I don't think Absolutely. you deal with that as no, much. No, not at all. But here you don't. There's a lot of studios out there and a lot of people exactly. getting tattooed. So it's something to you know keep But it's just on. something else I pride myself on because I want yeah. you to know. Like, this optics is what we at do. the this end of the day. Our, you know. It's just optics at the end of the day. What do people view? No. It, your setup versus my setup doesn't make a difference, really. <laughs> Not really. No. 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 As yeah, far as maybe we should. those basic rules. Right. Let's just explain some things. Yeah. Is when they're setting up for the tattoo or a piercing, yeah. they set up what we refer to as a sterile field, which is kind of a misnomer because mm. it's not sterile. Right. right. Um, basically, there'll be a non-absorbent or some type of uh, water-resistant layer. Mm -hmm. Then there'll be something that is not. And then... Everything that's sterile, everything that may be used for the tattoo or piercing is placed in that area. If it needs to be unwrapped or what have you, it's done on that area. The idea is we get everything into that spot. So the only things that we touch is that tray or spot in the person, nothing else. And the reason why is because we want to limit the amount of exposure in case you have something uh, to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the shop or station area. And okay. also to limit... The possibility that maybe I made a mistake a couple hours ago and I touched the corner of this lamp with, you know, the guy had hepatitis and I haven't gotten around to cleaning it off because I forgot I did it. Right, right. That we don't add that into that sterile field. So yeah. that's why it's, that's what the whole setup's about. Yeah, you want to minimize uh, things that could possibly be contaminated. Yeah. I mean, there's times, you know, we're tattooing and you're low on uh, towels or something or you may forgot to pour water and I'll I'll holler for, you know, one of the, yep. the girls to come and swap that out yep. because, you know, not only do I not want to break my flow, but it's not like I can, you know, stop just grab the towels and no, I gotta stop them. Yeah. I'd have to, off. you know, deglove, wash hands, da 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 all that stuff. So exactly. <clears throat> you know, yeah, that's a you know, the sterile field as they call it is important. You're just working in that little domain when you're gloved up. 
up, and when you're not, you're not. Yeah, and you're limiting your contact with everything right. on the outside. I was right. Saying it's coming down to optics, though, is what we were talking about before. Is that sure? It, so your setup versus mine doesn't make a huge difference. They're all basically the same. It's yeah. just a little way I like, different. I like it. a pretty setup. Yeah. Specifically <laughs> because I've seen them enough by yeah. other artists online yeah, 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 that yeah. it impressed different me. Color tapes, yeah, different know, color tapes. I know, right? It just, it is. That's what I mean. It purely comes art like origami. Exactly yeah, that. Yeah, that's well, what you're saying. Uh-huh. Origami is like, well, and we're artists, so. has nothing to do with uh-huh. one setup's better than the other. It's no. just, I like my bright colored tape, my yeah. black matte paper. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And it, because it's. Aesthetically pleasing to me while no, I, I wrap do my machine I with, and red. I like to break down too because it's an easy <laughs> breakdown yep. too. Go on, I wrap sorry. my machine with you know red on the grip and then red up on the yep. the the you know <laughs> and then red up on the battery <laughs> and then my We're soap color bottle nerds. I use the same red around the top even not the subconscious like, level small small little freaking cool you know useless shit that doesn't mean anything to does, us to yeah. the world does we anybody does anybody else us. like look at the colors of their their bandage tape that they're oh, going to wrap oh, yeah. their machine and stuff with oh, and course. think about it before they pick it oh, and roll yeah. it because oh, yeah, I did too. Okay, cool. Which one we use yeah. before I, I run out? Make, yeah. Is it purple or blue? Geeks. We are. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about what, like, some etiquette, some things that, that people should do uh, when it comes down to setting up their appointment, bringing in artwork, et cetera. I, what, what, what is the process to that, I guess we should say? Process is important, but another thing as far as etiquette because process, <coughs> as far as setting up something, is a little different than I think what I want to focus on. Okay. And that's as far as like just, just coming artist, in. artist, no, just like when you're in the chair, okay. artist and customer. We can do that. And um, because it's come up a few times and some people almost feel like uh, part of the experience, which it is, is having this conversation and talking about things with the artist and having this you know, social time. <clears throat> yeah. It's a communal thing. And other people use it as almost a way just to come in, check out, not be with their kids, you know, and, and have some private time. And they're totally fine putting in their AirPods and drifting off on their phone and screwing yeah. around on that. And maybe occasionally checking in with you. Um, it really, so, and some people take the latter almost uh, personally when their artist isn't constantly entertaining them yeah, and thinking yeah. that, oh, yeah, the guy was kind of a dick. He didn't really say anything to me the whole time. And uh, I used to kind of agree with that. I do. But then there comes a point to where these days people are asking us to do the most incredible things. Partially because you can see the most incredible thing that happened that day in our industry today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then come in the next day and go, I want one of those. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I haven't even started to look to see, to understand well, what the that. hell's going on. Yeah. But you know what? I'm willing to because that's freaking awesome. Right. And then you expect us at the same time to, to be. Hey, how you doing? All right. There's my favorite story from back in the day as I try to figure out the exact green that's in the sleeve of this person that's in the crowd of this thing that happened in 1947. It, you know, they're, they're, we're a lot of us are operating at a level that, you know, and maybe it's just my age or maybe just my ability but sometimes i need every little bit of processing power that i have in my <laughs> tiny little gray I'm getting scribble that noodle yeah. and, and i you know it's not i'm not trying to be rude i'm actually trying yeah. to do the best i can to give you mm-hmm. the, best the best i can product. do and uh so it's you know it's uh, it there's no right answer i guess no. like yes we're there to make sure that you're having a you know a good time and that you're having a good experience and mm-hmm. have good bedside or chair side manner but at the same time, you have to understand that, man, what we're doing. Can be complicated. First, sometimes we easy. any kind of distraction can be very distracting. I, and, and the thing is, is how the is how the artist approaches that situation and how they interact with the client. Right. Right. If right. they're like, you know, you ask them a question, they're like grunt, 
and they're just a jerk, then yeah, that's not how they should be. Right. Am I, you know, maybe saying something like, you know, hey man, this is a really detailed. Do you mind if I just kind of focus on this? Sure. Do you have uh, Do you have an, Do you have everything you need right now? Yeah. Um, do you need to, you know, hook something up on your phone before we I take <laughs> your left arm away from you for <laughs> right. the next two three hours? Yeah. You know that kind of approach, opposed to just. Then that comes down to chairside manner, and yeah. you know. Being aware of generally, we're speaking here to uh, a a person who's looking for a new artist or an artist that are they're new to tattoos. Because if you if you have a regular tattoo artist, you already know his personality. You have a relationship. Yeah, yeah, and you so get a, and you agree with it. If obviously. you're looking for new artists, hopefully you're doing checks and reviews on different artists and shops themselves, right? And understand also that we're people too, that we do yeah. have good days and bad oh, yes. days too. So Wesley. And, uh, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> we all have good days and bad days. And <laughs> and sometimes that, uh, you know, we're yeah, not, right. not trying to be a right. dick. Yeah, we're just no, trying absolutely. to get yeah, through the day. So and we're not trying to be a jerk to you. And we're like no, just yeah. quietly down and trying to get through things. And, you know, yeah. when people, when I hear stories from clients that are sitting in my chair and they're kind of shit talking, oop, beep, uh, uh, another artist, like, yeah, you know, I go, well, you know, yep. we are, we're all people. Yep. Maybe yeah, just man. caught them on a bad day. Yeah. And I don't know this person. And, I don't and, Right. Even maybe I do, and I, you know, whatever. But I, you know, but I, but still, yeah, we're all people. There's mm-hmm. sometimes we yeah. we open that, you know, the mail before we came in, and we should have waited till afterwards, and <laughs> we got that bill we weren't expecting, or yeah. you know, we woke up on the wrong side of the bed like mm-hmm. everybody else does from time to time. And yeah, darn it, you caught us on that off day. But that, but so that only means we need that extra you know, focus to make sure that we can right. do the best we can do. Cause yeah, we're only, we're, we're only, only people. Human, man. So yeah, coming in and being, um, I don't know, over the top and getting in the way of, and, uh, of your artists can sometimes, you know, not be the best thing. Um, but well, and I, I think if you're in doubt, if you're picking out a new artist as yeah. far you, you know, somebody new, I, even if it's a simple tattoo, ask him if you can set up a time for consultation so you can spend five minutes with this person we and kind of get a that. gauge of, of understanding what exactly their personality is like, mm-hmm. opposed to just booking something and you show up and the you know the guy's a total jerk or the girl is. Yeah, I mean, and, and it is an artist thing. Yeah, you have a bad day, you know, whatever. You should at True. least apologize or acknowledge it. Right. Um, and, <laughs> yeah. You know, and I've heard things like, like, yeah, the, you know, she said nothing the whole time I ta- she tattooed me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm talking about an experience my son had. She said absolutely nothing the whole time. And mm-hmm. then she got up and walked out, had a cigarette, came back, sat there and carried on a 20-minute conversation with one of the employees. Um, just happy, cheerful, laughing, came back, sat down in the chair with the nastiest, you know, uh, what is it called? The uh, permanent mean face or yeah, what have you. Uh-huh. There's a, and there's yeah, a well, we there's a term we won't the use. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, and there's a male version nice. of it too. I've been somebody, a lot of people say I have it and I don't, I don't know. I just yeah, feel like I, smiling. I call and it the just was R-M-F-F. Like a, R-M-F-F. Okay. Okay. The R-M-F-F. Yeah. That's what I have. And yeah, they might be focusing on the artwork they're trying to do for you, but at the same time, you know, there should be a little bit of common courtesy and acknowledgement back yeah, and forth. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, you know, in defense of the artist guy, it's we for, you know, it's hard to it, I forget to check in sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I maybe just get so caught up in okay, yeah, this person came to me because they expect, you know, what I can do and I'm going to do it and, you know, and I go to it and I you're in the zone. I get two, three hours in, and I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah, uh, how are you doing?" You know, <laughs> and 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 ninety ninety eight percent of the time they're like, "Oh, I'm good, good." You yeah. know, uh, but yeah, it's. It, it, but I I attributed that to mostly the level that we're required to tattoo at. I mean, most yeah. of my career has been wall stuff. You know, people come in, they, they point right. at the wall. I say what size, where you want it, and it's, you know. I a song and dance it. Yeah. yeah, and it's bing, bang, boom. And now they're like, I want this recreation yeah, of this painting that, that was done phone, in the like, 16th century, and yeah, I want yeah. it to go over up my shoulder and turn yeah. into a swan that's puking right. out rainbows, and yeah. uh, <laughs> can you get me in tomorrow? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. yeah oh, no, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So, you know, and then they they get maybe sometimes they get disappointed when 
I don't have, you know, I'm not yeah. entertaining the entire time. So, and where I was able to before, and that was one of my favorite things of the job, really, mm-hmm. is being able just to jabber jaw and all that because I've done this one nine times. Yep. This week. Yeah. yeah. And so, but now That's the level not the is case been anymore. Great. See, for me, from a piercing standpoint, usually there's only like that five to ten minutes where I really have to focus. True. Um, true, true. It's a little bit different. And, you know, yeah. I, I always set up in front of my clients. That's just part of the process. I've done it that way for years. Right. However, I will say, you know, if I if I if you come in and I go, hold on a second, I'm going to go through the consultation with you. And then I'm going to go have a cigarette. And then I'm going to come back nine times out of ten. It means that I'm I'm I need that break. Mm-hmm. I need that time alone. I need to focus. I need yeah. to get the Reset. last crap kind of, out yeah. of my head. Right. That I've been working on for whatever whatever's been going on. And with me, because I do a lot of multitasking kind of thing here with the editing and everything else. Oh yeah. Yeah. I need a palate yeah. cleanser. Yeah, for sure. And maybe your artist does. <clears throat> Another true. thing. Um, is if you are one of those chatty caddies and you want to talk through the whole thing and visit and everything and you're a little unsure about the artist, bring along a friend. Yep. Yeah. As long as they're bring along entertainment. Not a toddler. Right. If During you, a it, pandemic. Or gassy. No, yeah. and this is different now. We're just talking average day. You know, it is is supportive of what you're doing and is not going to annoy everybody. Now don't bring fifteen people because yeah. that's not good. And don't bring small children. Get a babysitter. We run a tidy studio. Yeah. And it, it's at least with our our particular shop, we each station usually has one um chair area. chair one chair for a participatory person yeah. to yeah. You know, for be, a, be their hand for an accessory yep. person. Right. And if you're one of those people that wants to just zone out, bring along some headphones and yeah, some whole VR. waiting area yeah, if you need to bring a few people. It's already a dope one person's all you need to hold your hand. <laughs> Well, and that's another thing uh, that kind of leads into moving. Yeah. Which I, I, I get told I yell at people. What? Whoa! Excuse me. Goodness. Woo! Taco Bell. <laughs> so out. Anyway, so uh, I get told that you know, oh yeah, you yelled at me last time for moving, and I'm like, and maybe, and probably what I said was, hey man, try to stay still. Yeah. So, it's but perception. I perception. And I and yeah. I understand that, you know, they're exaggerating, you know, what I'm saying, but at the same time, set the f still. Oh. It's not a joke. Like, no. do you understand what I'm doing here? Like if you tried to do your homework on the bus, no. I did all the time and when I got there, <laughs> I couldn't read it. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> there's a reason for that, yeah. you know, cuz the freaking thing's the going man. like, you know, up and yeah. down. It's like, just, do you understand? Well, like, there's no eraser right, at all. Right. So if I'm trying to, if I say, hey, man, be still, it means I give an F that I'm if doing moved, what I'm doing. If you've moved enough for me to say something to you, usually it's been accompanied first by the. <sighs> right. Man, you, like, man, you really got to sit still. I think that's what they're right, taking as right. the, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, you and, should because, like, you moved at a, like, a really crucial time. I'm trying to put the eye in grandpa, right. the, grandpa's yeah. eyeball in right now, which means I'm using the tiniest needle I can on this vibrating machine to put this eyeball in, and you decided to reach for your phone. I which, oh, what, what which, phone call was that? Because I hope it was really important because now grandpa has an iPad. Which comes out <laughs> like, of what? You know? Like, <laughs> now he's a pirate. Arr. Which comes down to one major thing. Communicate that? that you need to move. Yeah. Right, right. Ask yeah, your artist, go, go, hey, can I, I, I've got yeah, a scratch. Yeah, just tell me. I'll stop. I'll pick My up. nose yeah. is on fire. I need to yeah. scratch it. Can you, yeah, yeah. can I, can just I move? Just tell me. I'm going to cough. I'm going to sneeze. I yeah. Just need tell to, me. And time your movement. I mean, you know, we've all gotten, we've all been tattooed. A lot of you out there has been tattooed. Absolutely. So you, you know, there's a rhythm to it where they'll That's be tattooing more. for a while stop. and then there'll be a stop. There might be a little dab and then a go, or there might be a break where they're refilling and, you know, getting ready yeah. for the next pass yeah. during that time. If you need to readjust, perfect, yeah. but not it. while I'm, no. I just had this happen on the very last tattoo before the shutdown by the <sighs> governor, which is uh, yeah, agreed with. And all Good that. job. Yeah. But anyway, um, I was tattooing right on her forearm, her inner forearm. And she, as I'm tattooing her, she lifts up her arm slightly and like re- itches on her lower arm as I'm tattooing. And I stop and I look up at her 
Like, and what she are you just doing? looks at me kind of nonchalantly like I had an itch. And they, I'm like, it doesn't even register to them that they could like yeah. there's you changed the depth of where you're at, where I'm working, that you moved the canvas, like uh, nothing. Do you have any it's, idea what's going on right now? It's not an everyday normal <laughs> yeah. experience they right. have, they so it. they're not used to having yeah. complete right. control to their body. Right. Sometimes it's yeah. And I had a guy the other day. He's laying there, right? On, I have him on his back um, because I'm working on his upper inner bicep, and uh, he's got his cell phone laying on his belly. And I'm, you know, pulling a line or whatever, going along. And all of a sudden, he jumps like he was just stung by a bee. And it's because the phone went off? His phone started sliding off his oh. belly. And he's so he catch just it. instinctively just, you know, jerks to grab his phone. I'm like, I look at him, I go, F the phone. <laughs> it's yeah. good you're so yeah. soft-handed he forgot you were there. Yeah, right? Uh, I'm like, I guess, but like, he was oh so zoned God. out from what you're doing. Your phone at this moment is secondary. Oh, God, Your need dude. to fart is secondary. Oh. Your need to breathe is it's secondary. Horrible. It's horrible. Because I'm only gonna breathe. I'm only gonna care as much as you do about your tattoo. If you continue to do that, I'm gonna go. Well, then you obviously don't care if I do my best. Oh. <laughs> and I hate to get to that point, but some people just act so nonchalant. And in a way, I'm flattered that you give me so much credit that I can do my best while you're just flailing around. But honestly, I can't. And you're so light touch that you don't even notice that you're there. That's why they move. They think, oh, well, I thought he was oh, dipping. Oh, we're still cutting I'm, at me. Uh, no. We're still chasing me. No. Like, I was just really? saying. Don't be so you're, good. No, you're that don't good. Be so we were good. just, we're praising you. You're That's fired. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see. But I'm so happy. The out. thing is, is uh, with piercing, we have kind of a bigger, uh, more of an advantage because usually most people don't have enough, a fast enough reaction time where by the time the needle's through, they move. The only problem with that is that puts that's me true. at risk. That's yeah, I know. Right. Then you're and that's yourself. what people don't understand. And I brought no. that to some people's attention, and it has chilled them out. I'm like, you know. It's not so much you and screwing up your tattoo, but if you move, I could poke myself. Yep. Yeah, and I don't so screw you and your tattoo. Stay still for my safety, or we're done. Yeah, <laughs> you know? right. Like, yeah, man, you're not. endangering all of us now. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, pretty much exactly what you're saying because you have that. You have yeah. that one moment where you go like, okay, on three, one, two, bang, and you do yeah. it. Right. To tr try to kind of. And, oh, you, you know, poked yourself. Now you got to go home and tell your wife that, or whatever that, that, hey, we can't do nothing for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's going to be some testing. There's going to be some testing. Yeah, I mean, and basically, you know, and a lot of times, even the jewelry transfer, I still got a sharp edge there that mm -hmm. I'm playing with. And, you know, Very you true. need to. See, and usually what I'll do is I'll do the piercing and then they'll do their thing and then I'll go, the next part, you really have to sit still. And most people get that. Some people don't. If you're going to yeah. hyperventilate or freak out or whatever, get that out of your system. It seems that if it seems that if you do, I, I'm always kind of torn on that because I almost feel like if I get to a point where there's going to be some really fine details in the eyes or something where the face is this big and stuff, sometimes I feel like I just want to sneak it in like nothing's going yeah. on and just have them try to be chill rather than going, okay, now you Really got to be still on this. <laughs> then go on. Okay. And then go. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Don't tell them what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's almost not. like, hey, look over there. Nothing's going <laughs> Nothing's on. Nothing's going on. Like, <laughs> 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 I got to do this quick. Make sure that they look over there and nothing is going on. It never fails. Still, That's when they do move or flex. It's kind of no. It's all done. Thing. It's all yeah. done. And sometimes in my head, I'm like, I, I, do you, I, I'm doing the lettering on the jacket on your grandfather's shirt while he right. was in Vietnam, yes. you know, and you're fli like, do you have any idea show you this cool what meme, you're putting right? me through? Yeah. That's yeah. why I drink. <laughs> so why I want to drink. Lots of coffee. Okay, so anyway. we've got, anyway. you know. Right. Have I, have I boohooed enough? I think that's yeah, I think that was so. pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. So we covered uh, basically just basic. The other thing is, is if you are coming in and you're just looking around, uh, maybe you're just visiting the stop, shop. It's the first time you've done it. Don't bring 18 people with you. No. And don't be loud. Yes. Um, if you've been out inebriatingly getting yourself six or eight sheets to the wind, don't stop by to look for the new tattoo you want to get. We do have breakables here. We do have people that we do have clients that we like to control the uh, their experience. And if you're making that experience not good for them, we don't want to do business with you. We like to consider it a fun adult 
environment. Yes. Meaning that, yes, there's things that can break and hurt you, and there's things that could be said or images that could be floating around that are of an adult nature. Yeah. You know, we don't deal with children here, and we don't focus on that. So there may be a time where something is said or, you know, a person is enjoying looking at their new tattoo, and it might be on a part of the body that you don't want your, you know, yeah. little kid to see. And in an environment such as this, someone should feel free to walk around as I they agree. feel fit yeah. and show what they want to show and, yeah. and not feel like they have yeah, to cover themselves up like and be ashamed. And maybe we should talk a little bit about right. clothing. I mean, I do genital piercings and I do uh, you know, nipple piercings. And, of course, I have a door that I can shut. Right. right. Um, so generally, I'm not having them go out in the hallway to take a look at it. But yeah, like yeah. in some of the stations, the doors open or the areas open. Yeah. What clothing wise, especially like areas well, of uh, various different forms of the body. Try to dress accordingly, like wear a dress or like something you can pull up or a pair of shorts or something. You know, if you don't want to be revealed very much, try to co cover what you can. But wear something that like if you're going to work on your thigh, don't wear a pair of tight jeans that you don't have anything to shorts or anything to change into when in doubt you know ask I mean? the artist right. what you should wear ask them beforehand well, yeah right. during the consultation yeah because Wes ahead. loves to do thighs and yeah he, <laughs> he loves thighs. Thighs. he loves thighs he loves thighs, thighs. Loves thighs. thighs. it's one of his so, favorite canvases but like I've seen easy. I've seen everything it, from yeah. girls come in with a pair of shorts and be ready like to like a skirt or something with a pair of shorts under it so they can yeah. pull it up to sweats and no to, underwear to sometimes to sweats and no underwear sometimes to tight ass jeans with no underwear and I'm like and then they're like, oh, yeah, well, eventually they're like, we don't mind if you don't mind. We're like, we don't care, but just, you didn't think this through at all <laughs> right. before you yeah. left the house. We don't have, like, a wardrobe room that you can go no. to. No. There's a bathroom, and that's bathroom. about it. Yeah. And, and, and One of my with favorite the, stories was the girl who got the foot tattoo and <laughs> <laughs> came in in a skirt and no underwear and then realized very quickly that oh. I'm doing her foot tattoo. This wasn't oh, a great no. idea. Yeah. No. It's like, you're well, walking. With, you with no. you're saying, you doing? Because you are going to have to bear that area. Yeah. Don't wear clothing that's very difficult to get off. Yeah. Right. I've never, you know, if you're going to get We're not going like, to be weird. We're not going to be example, creepy, but make it easy for us to do our job. Yeah. yeah if don't make it awkward if for you're, me. You're, yeah, exactly. You're like, you. mm, if you're don't make me ask you to. Yeah. yeah. You want to you wanna <laughs> get your foot tattooed, but you're standing here with like six pairs of socks and two pairs of shoes on. Like, yeah. what's happening? Right. Are like, you uh, do this or? just just do it. Just take it yeah. off. Do you get want ready. me to say the sexy or. Right. You know, just yeah. What are yeah. you waiting on? Do Take I need to write it down on a piece of paper? Like, if I'm doing it, you know, for example, if I'm doing a genital piercing, don't come in in the tightest pair of jeans that you own, and, and a, a pair of first. and a pair of twenty hole docks. That's going to yeah. take for freaking ever. Yeah. I have other clients. Right. People have to wait until we get you to the point where I can actually get to the area to pierce it. And hygiene's important. That too. But yeah. yeah, and it's not going to be comfortable that, to have tight yeah, jeans yeah. on anyway. That might well does that that might go along with what we're talking about hygiene a little bit and, hygiene. and taking care of the hygiene. area that you're going to get tattooed. Well, like, if I'm going to tattoo like a, a close to your genitals area. or something, yeah. don't come in after you've been at work for twelve hours or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or at the gym, like run run through the shower and just knock it down a little bit for me, please. Because <laughs> like I don't want to deal with it, not dude. The, at least the top couple levels like, off. Because you know what? Those masks are really hard to find right now. Yeah, yeah man. They're yeah. scarce, and the, yeah, and the doctors not, need them. So. And it, <laughs> You're hoarding Purell wipes anyways. Yeah, I mean, you might as well use one. I can wipe, <laughs> right? the, I can wipe the smelling stuff under my nose and go and, for it. But It doesn't necessarily have to be in that general area. Just B.O. Anywhere. in general. Yeah, feet, armpits, like all of it. Clean yourselves. I don't want to yeah, tattoo I your mean, rib cage with your armpit up. You expect us to be at a certain level of yeah. cleanliness. Yeah. Exactly. If I came in, so, you know, unshaven with... Uh, Especially if you're going to be sitting there for a while. Yeah, with my arm. We'll be on the shaving stuff here. We got right. the bird beard crew. Yeah, I know. I'm the I'm the clean shaven guy. Can you grow a beard, Devo? Oh yeah, so probably Let's a day. See. No. Oh, let's do it. A day beard. No. Let's do I'd it. like to see your day let's beard. Let's do it. Let's okay, do you've a, got nine or ten days off, yeah. no matter yeah. you know I'll government shave tomorrow. mandated. I can tell let's you exactly. What I'll shave happen. tomorrow. Let's, let's make this it. a race. I'll get I'll on. get in you, about three days ahead. and go. Yeah. This it's just too much. Screw this. Oh, and where's the razor? Come on. Well, you're a give upper. Come on. You're a quitter. I'll shave this off. Come on. Day three, I'll still be upset. I'm naked. I blame it on We'll being... call it the beard formerly known as to match this. Okay, the but, but see, I grew up in the as. 70s, 
So yeah. there, where everybody had a beard. Boom, 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 right. Boom, and boom, most boom, of them were like, yeah. Okay, now I'm totally distracted. Um, so, yeah, bathing would be a good thing. Burn baby. Um, if you're going to be here for a long period of time, it's not a bad idea to bring snacks, um, something to drink. Yeah. Uh, if you want to watch your phone and stuff, please bring it. It's headsets. available when people aren't freaking out and buying it all because they're not going to make water anymore. Oh <laughs> people. <laughs> Fall from the sky. People. Sorry. Please. Come on, man. Yeah. Buy a Brita and a faucet. Yeah, man. It'll be cool. Leave the bottle water for the rest of us to give out for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the water come free out of the water pipe. Yeah, good yeah, night's man. sleep, you know, hydrated, yep. you know, eat breakfast, you know, lunch, dinner, whatever is appropriate. Eat before you get here. Don't bring, bring snacks. Yeah, snacks are okay, but don't bring a meal into no. the studio. Nope. Nope. And, and, you know, there are times when we have all-day sessions and we will break yeah. and have a meal. Yeah, and we'll, fine. we'll include them in it sometimes. Well, yeah, if they like sushi and then... Sushi or wings. <laughs> sushi, wings. Or... What is the other place you guys always order? We go to Chick Fil A, but we don't Chick Fil A. We don't include the clientele on that. Sorry, yeah. that's an exclusive only. No, we have. Yeah. We have. Yeah, yeah, we have. Actually, I'm sorry. We have. Oh, Pizza and that's only because there were supposed to be wings, but they got delivered to Wes's house <laughs> instead of the I shop. came home to 50 wings. I don't yeah. know. How I, I know. I was. I was awesome. kind of amazed the raccoons lot. didn't. I love yeah, front porch wings. Porch wings. I don't read they had for four, a living. Yeah. I and was elected to draw. They came to the shop the next day, and I kept getting asked by Jimmy like. Dress them in wings, and I'm like, no. They went straight to the refrigerator, and it was below freezing outside. It's all tasty. Yeah. Yeah. They were tasty. Yeah. And you didn't I die, obviously. Yeah, you're good. So, so yeah, I missed no out, I guess. See, you missed it just out. seemed weird. Whatever. Is there any other form of etiquette that we should talk about? Uh, other than yeah, you should be somewhat prepared. Just be still. Yeah. Recognize, you know, realize that your entire body's connected. Even if you're yep. getting your ankle tattooed and your upper body's shifting around because you're texting or shifting it. your head over to talk to your friend or whatever, all those little tiny movements either transfer through your body or through the chair, and it causes these little tiny movements, which causes your artist to get a little more tense and take a little bit of processing power off of that, thinking about when the next time you're going to move and how quick they're going to have to pull away, or if they're pulling this freaking yeah. curve right here, are you going to move just then? You know, just relax. Be think, still. Think of yourself as a pond. and Be calm. And realize that if you drop one pebble or pebble, pebble yeah. okay. the ripple effect, the ripple effect, if a leaf falls from a tree onto a pond, it, yeah, you know, the it entire take much. and a lot of people don't realize that, you know, when I call to the, you know, when someone makes a real egregious movement, like it's just obvious to me and I kind of stop and look at them like serious <laughs> and they kind of look at me like, what? I'm like, well, you know, try to be still. And they're like, did I move? <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, you're full. how could you be so unattached from your own body, especially at this time? Yeah. Have you watched people drive? <laughs> well, it's like you know what's going on, and you would think you'd try to think, okay, this is going on over here, so I want to make sure what I'm doing over here doesn't affect it. But they're just, you know, just they're not mindful doing everything. Of it at all. Yeah, you're not using that arm, but you're using everything else, which is yeah. connected to that arm. So just keep being aware of your body movements and stuff would it would you know really helps out because it you know gets it just another thing that uh, takes your focus off or you know kind of breaks your flow. Yeah, bring okay. your headphones if you want to listen to stuff or watch YouTube and stuff because I don't want to hear it. Yeah, that's annoying. I that's hate annoying. it when people. It, you like, sh if you're in public, that. you should always have headphones. Well, if like you're watching I'm something. pulling a long line and I'm listening to the music that I have going for a reason to keep me in the zone or calm. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I'm like, yeah, the ringers. What some the, of the ringers, F just happened? Some are like gunshots or mm -hmm. drive bys, yeah. or, or something. when you like, got the volume yeah. all the way up on your Instagram and there's a, yeah. it's a live video you know? thing. It's oh, like, yeah. oh, we got a camera down, man cool. down. Well, there might Strong be there might be reason for a sign there to be like, you know, uh, please turn ringers and excessive noise making down. devices off or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I mean, basically, I you agree. know, but. It's, it's one of those things. Yeah, it's kind of common sense. So you've been watching or listening to Q&A in the Kitchen. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you like these, then I would suggest giving us a thumbs up, sharing you with other people. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time we post one of these. If you're on a podcast site or whatever, you subscribe. 
and then you'll get notified when we are posting things. Ding. Ding. Now, uh, all, this has been brought to you in part by Skin Kitchen Tattoo, the Axiom Body Piercing Studio, and Deaf Before Decaf. Also, check out our merch store. we got plenty of t-shirts, designs, uh, all kinds of fun stuff to, to satisfy your needs for swag and decorate your house. And, and with yourself. large yeah. tapetries. 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 And a lot of tapetries. Yoga pants. And one thing I, I, <laughs> keep, I forgot to mention in the last two episodes, but we should probably mention now. If you have any questions that you don't feel like we've covered or you would like to suggest that we cover in the future, please make a comment or send us an email. Let if us you know. have some ideas that you want us We're to do, we're happy to babble on <laughs> and lose the train of thought to just about anything. And you know what would kind of be fun? If, you know, if somebody had a tattoo that they're like, you know, I kind of want to add to it or I'm not really happy with it or, you know, whatever, send it in and then maybe we can critique it and maybe give you some, you know, ideas, uh, maybe kind of on the show and maybe that'll help someone else, you know, with some ideas about maybe how they would want to add on or cover or, you know. Uh, that, that, that might be kind of a fun thing to do. Kind of like an on-air consultation. Yeah, so yeah, good. in a way. Yeah, and, you know, fun. we can keep it anonymous, of course. But, yeah. you know, right. send us in something if you're like, oh, I've got this old tattoo that I want to spruce up or add on to. Or maybe, you know, what can I do with it because I want a sleeve now. But back in 93, I didn't. Right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That could be uh, that could be fun. Yeah, so, be a lot anyway. of fun. Well, other than that, thank you for watching or listening. I... Uh, Here's hoping all your tattoos and piercings heal with ease and without (laughs) any issues whatsoever. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, we hope to see your tattooing and body piercing needs in the future. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your goddamn hands. And be nice to each other. Be good to each other, guys. All that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Wash your hands. Later.